Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is the day that the Lord has given us strength. This is the day that the Lord has woken us up. This is the day that the Lord has prepared for us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We speak to you on this morning. We bring greetings on this morning from the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to Sacred Utterance Book Club. Where we are going to pour in as God pour out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is going to revelate his word on today. God is going to heal on today. God is going to deliver on today in the name of Jesus. God is going to lose every stronghold in the mighty name of Jesus. The word is going to go forth. Hallelujah. And it's going to cut between the bone and the marrow. Between the thoughts and the intentions. In the name of Jesus. The word is going to come and it's going to deliver. The word is going to give strength. The perfect strength of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In your time of weakness. In your time of disturb. In your time of distress. God said his strength is made perfect. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And we're going to receive strength on today. Welcome to strength. Welcome to Sacred Utterance Book Club. Hallelujah. Where our visionary is prophetess, Dr. M.P. Washington. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And she has written a book of strength. A daily devotional. A daily morsel of prayer. Hallelujah. And we get ready to take part of God's word, God's bread, God's life on today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I am Dr. Kayla Parker. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I am honored to sit before you, to stand before you, holding up the blood stained banner. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. We are excited what God has for you all today. Amen. Only if you have an expectation. Only if you have an expectation that God will move on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. We have some powerful we have a powerful panelist on today. Amen. We have co-pastor Vanessa Tomlinson. Amen. All the way from Lake Charles. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Almighty one of God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We also have Sister Geneva Kill. Amen. From Stop and Believe Ministry. Amen. Glory to God. Almighty one of God. We have a mighty, powerful word on today that God has given. Amen. We don't want you to take it lightly. Glory to God. We're talking about your life on today. We're talking about your life. We're talking about an opportunity. Glory to God. To stand before God. Hallelujah. An opportunity to choose strength on today. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to read the excerpt from today's strength. Amen. Once again, strength is a daily devotional. It's available at Amazon, Books a Million, everywhere books are sold. Get you strength on today. Amen. As we're going to dive into the word that God has for our life on today. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I pray on today that you open up your hearts, that you open up your mind to receive the divine word that God has sent for your life. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Our topic today is seasonal life. My God. Glory to God. This is an on-time word. Glory to God. Our scripture that we're going to read and that we're going to, amen, break down. Hallelujah. It's Luke chapter 13, verse 7 through 9. And the scripture begins to read. Then said he unto the dresser of his vineyard, Behold, these three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why cover it in the ground? Verse 8. And he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also. Till I shall, till I shall dig about it and dug it up. Verse 9. And if it bear fruit, well, and if not, uh -huh. then after thou shall cut it down. Yes. 
Amen. We're talking about the season. Amen. We're talking about the season. Amen. Amen. We're talking about the time to produce. The time of fruit. Amen. And we're going to read the excerpt. And the excerpt from today's devotion begins to read. Every season in the natural realm has been ordained by God to bring forth a particular fruit. This is in the natural. Now your life is divided into seasons. As well as each season has brought forth fruit. The fruit depends on the seed, the ground, and the nurture, and the willingness of the wine dresser to prune and keep the harvest until it's ripe. Amen. Consider what Jesus said of the man who delighted himself in the Lord. Psalms chapter 1, verse 3. The scripture begins to read, and he shall be. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. His fruit, his season, and his leaf. My God. We're going to talk about that. Amen. Here is the promise of the Lord. To those who meditate on him. In essence, he promises, he promised that your fruit shall not be devoured by the fowls of life. He promised that your leaf, which means which means of your sustenance, shall not wither. And then to the topic to top it off, he said, Whatsoever you shall be prosperous. Glory to God. With promises like this, why would you not be a conscientious planter? Glory. Mm. Why cover it the ground? Or why go to go why go through the trouble or the drama of doing something that's not gonna be a blessing in your life? Plant something that's worthwhile or just leave it alone. Why be cut down? Lord, Lord, Lord. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Why be cut down? Why go through all the trouble? Go through all of the drama. Go through, go through everything. Only to be cut down. Oh my God. My God. My God. We're going to open it up for our panelists on this morning. Amen. Come as the Thomas said, I see that God is ready. Amen. Go ahead and minister glory to God. Thank you, woman of God. I bless the Lord on this morning and to all those out there, wonderful saints of God that is listening to us this morning, to the apostles this morning. Amen. Why be cut down when you don't have to be cut down? Jesus made the way we don't have to be cut down. You can go over and live. seasonal life. Amen. Yeah. You know, what I what I enjoy about the seasons of life the most is that it's constant. Hi. Amen. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a constant yeah. transformation. Lord, Amen. Lord, Lord. Uh, you know, God gives Lord, us season after season in yes. the, in the uh, physical, yes. but he also gives us season after season in the spirit. Amen. Yeah. So I just thank God uh, for, for his mind, his yeah. thoughts. Amen. That's good. Uh, it's important in your season that something is metamorph metamorphosed is the word that I want to use. Yeah. 
that's constant change, and you're gonna have change even when it looks like nothing's moving. Yeah. Hey, Amen. That's your yeah. that's your time to draw closer to who God is, yeah. closer to God, asking God for direction. Lord, what is it you want me to do in this season? Yeah. Do you want me to sit down, right. or do you want me to meditate? Right. Do you want me to fast, right. or do you want me to to uh, impart into someone else? Amen. Right. So I just thank God for that. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I bless God that you both have mentioned, amen, about the season and how uh, God is in control of the time and the season. Amen. And we know in Ecclesiastes that the scripture says that there's a time and a season for everything. There's a time for everything. Amen. So to recognize what season you're in. Amen. You begin to begin to minister and begin to say that uh, there's the seasons changes all year round. Yes. There's not there's not a winter all year round. There's not a summer all year round. There's a time for it. Amen. And then it changes to the next season. Amen. And many times in life, many people get caught up and miss the change. They're still stuck in that in the winter. Still stuck in the summer and miss that the time have changed and the time have come. Amen. For a change. Amen. So, uh, Co-Pastor uh, Thomason, amen. amen. We're going to talk about the division of life. Amen. How God divides us into seasons, our life. My amen. God. Go ahead. Yes, God. Amen. 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 I am so reminded of the scripture where it says the sons of Issachar, they discern the times yes. that they were in. Well, and it's so important that you and I stay connected to the vine because the vine will let us know what season we're in. That's good. Amen. 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 That's where all of our help comes from. Come Amen. 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 Yours and mine come yeah. from that vine. Him, the great one. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Our Father, Jesus. Amen. Yes. Our Savior. Yes. Through the Holy Ghost by the Word. Yes. Amen. But those seasons in life, when I, when I start reading it, what, your, your topic, uh, yeah. Apostle, but the first thing I thought about as a woman, and, and, and this is not just saying this for women, but I thought about the word seasoning. Come on. Yes. 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 yes, yes, You know, for, for those of us that cook, right. yes. we depend on our seasoning. Yes, yes, yes. 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 To make things what? Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. You don't give me no food without any seasoning. Yes. Come on. Come on. So in our season, we are seasoned, so we make things. Our fruit we bear will bring us into the seasons that he have ordained for us yes. at that time in our life. Yes. The steps of a good man yes. are hard by the Lord. Yes. 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 So your season, and, and it's, it's important to know. Yes, yes. that's good. And you can find out. Yes. All you gotta do is ask. That's all. all you gotta do is surrender. Yes. All you gotta do is to walk to him. Yes. 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 How big is your walk to? Yes. Walk to. And this scripture this morning is so powerful. Yes. This is God's vineyard. Yes. And I'm thankful, and I know you are too, that he have allowed you to even be alive and yes. still yes. able. Yes. 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 To be a part of yes. 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 In the vineyard. Go ahead. Hallelujah. I'm glad about that. I know you are too. Yes. Go ahead. Amen. Lord, but Lord. I tell you one thing. If you stay connected to the vine. Yes, Lord. And you stay and he and you. Yeah. The scripture says, and it's not, and whatever the scripture says, that's what it is. That's and what it is. is. Yes. You shall bear fruit. Yes. And if you're not bearing fruit, mm -hmm. you better get in the ministry yes, where you can bear fruit. Yes. Amen. Yes. And know the season. Discern the time that yes. you're in. Know who you are. In God. Yes. Yes. There's somebody in God. Yes, yes, yes. Woman yes. out there, man of God, you are yes. somebody. Yes. Go ahead. Yes. 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 He has died yes. that you would live the abundant life. Yes. And bear fruit. Yes. He said, by this shall all men know yes. who you are. Yes. By the fruit that you bear. By the fruit that you bear. Yes. You have it. Stir it up. Stir, Stir it up. up. Stir That's it. it. Stir, Stir it up. up. Stir it up. God, what does that represent? Oh, oh my God. And you said it. Amen. It indicates. Amen. It, it indicates disobedience. Yeah. 
in any case, amen, because the naturally, a seed that's put in the ground has a commandment to bring forth fruit. It has to do it. Amen. But to go against and not bear fruit, then it's disobeying the order of God. Because God says every fruit shall, every uh, seed shall bring forth fruit. Amen. So to naturally, if the seed is not bringing forth fruit, spiritually, if you're not bringing forth fruit, then there's something wrong. There's nothing wrong with the seed. Amen. Nothing wrong with the seed because the Lord said as long as the as long as the earth remains, That's right. it's gonna be seed time yeah. and harvest. Yes, Amen. Amen. There's gonna be seed time. Uh-huh. Glory to God. Uh-huh. So it's nothing wrong with the seed. Yeah. It's the person that's supposed to carry the seed. It's the person that's supposed to produce. Yes, Amen. The seed has already been planted. The work has already been done. Amen. As you said, amen. amen. Christ has already died. Glory yes. to God. Yes. It's what you do. Amen. Today, as you hear us as we speak, amen. amen. In the name of Jesus, yes. make a decision in your heart. Glory yes. to God. Yes. And you have to take responsibility for your life. Yes. You have to take responsibility for your decision. And you have to take responsibility if you're not bearing fruit. Yes. And if you're not bearing fruit, yes. this is the time for you to see it. Amen. amen. Be honest yes. about where you are. God that God causes us to bring forth fruit. He charges us to bring forth fruit. Amen. Amen. God looks for us to bring forth a fruit. Amen. Um, That's not just one of us or some of us. That's all of us. Amen. He comes looking for us to bear fruit. Amen. Uh, so he's expecting a particular thing. Amen. But like you said, if if one isn't bearing fruit, and you know, I was thinking about I was thinking about the fig tree. Yes. It only takes so long for a fig tree to produce fruit. Right. Amen. Season, yes. And what what I what I believe is as ministers and, and uh, of, of God. We have to intercede on the behalf of those that aren't bringing forth fruit. Yes. Amen. We also have to be an intercessor on their part. Yes. Amen. Yes. Um, don't just ask God to cut it down right away. Amen. Yes. Just ask God to give them uh, grace and mercy uh, to give them a little more time to yeah. get it right. Amen. Uh, but uh, I just I just thank God. You know, I, w- I want to get to uh, the the winter season. A lot of people fall in the winter season. Yes. Most people fall in the winter yes. season. Yes. yes. You know, yes. And, you, and you just sit there and you don't. Uh, that's one of my favorite seasons yes. because it draws me closer to God. Yes. Like, Lord, what, what is it you want from me? Amen. Yes. Uh, but just like, OK, you see the trees in the winter time. Amen. Yes. You see the leaves falling off. Sometimes the branches break off, but those trees are still standing. Right. Yes. Because it's life in the root of those trees. Right, right, Amen. Right. So in order for, for the the, life, the roots to have life, they got to be connected to the, the source. Amen. Yeah, right. And the source is the living water. Amen. Yeah. So just like those trees in the wintertime, amen, we have to stand firm just like those trees and be connected to the source, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. That's the only thing that's going to keep us standing firm. Amen. So I just thank God for that. You know, um, with the with the different parts of life and as far as the seasons, you know, when we first born, Amen, uh, we're we're learning our identity, who we are, right. what we're capable of, what we're not capable of, Amen. Uh, but later on, when you when you get into your your fifties and your sixties, you turn from a um, it, it turns from competition to champion, right. Right. Amen. Uh, people ought to see then that okay, God is doing something for them. Yeah. See what I'm saying? It ought to influence them. Right. Making them want, want what God has gave you. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh-huh. So if you don't if you don't know what season you in, yeah. you get with somebody that knows the seasons, amen, that can yeah. teach you. Right. If they not teach you what is right, what is holy, what is righteous, right. Right. then you need to cut them down. Just move around, amen. Yeah. Uh, but I just I just yeah. thank God uh, that I finally learned about the seasons, that I finally got connected to somebody yeah. that could 
teach me what season I'm in. You know, uh, I just bless the Lord for this topic. Amen. Yeah. Seasonal life. Come on. Seasonal life. And then what you said about the seasoning food. Oh my God, don't give me no food with no seasoning. Amen. But I don't. I want my life to be seasoned as well. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So hallelujah. Amen. My God. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And it's going to bring us into our next, amen, question or statement. Amen. What's recognizing what season you are in? My Lord. Oh, my God. Jesus. Amen. You talked about the different seasons and how um, things are planted at different times yes. naturally. Yes. And that depending on the root of it, mm -hmm. that that would depend on... Um, of it gaining right. what it needs. Mm -hmm. And when I think about this, I think about the, as you said, the fig tree. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the fig tree, the fig tree is one of the, uh, one of the uh, seeds that have the deepest root. Yes. Yes. The deepest root yes. than all other yes. uh, uh, fruits. Okay. It has the deep, or the deepest uh, roots. Mm -hmm. So it had an opportunity to get everything it needed is to nurture it. Yes. So to refuse it, and the, as the scripture began to say, the scripture began to say that the wine dresser began to plead yes. mm -hmm. and to see yes. Yes, to give grace and mercy. Amen. As the, the tree should have produced in that time, three years have passed. Mm. Time has passed. Yes. And not to recognize what season you're in. Not to even be conscious that the season has passed. The time has passed. My God. Woman of God, what is the importance that God wants us to know about knowing the season that we're in? Amen. First of all, you've got to be in a good, healthy ministry. Amen. Yes. Right? Yes. That is feeding, leading yes. you into where God would have you to be so that you can hear him. That's the first thing to know your season. And, and that is a very awesome question. And you have to be real about it. Yes. What season are you in? Or what season do you think you're in? Yes. yes. Amen. Come on. But you need to know, and it's yours for the knowing what yes. season you're in. Yeah. For me, can I be transparent? Come on. Yeah. Amen. I'm in a season of pruning. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, Amen. Come on. Glory. Amen. Amen. And it's a good pruning. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Bring forth more. Come on. Amen. 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 Am
Oh, we need real fruit. Yes. yes. The enemy's not playing. Yeah, come on. And guess what? Greater is he that is in us. Yes. That's bearing the fruit in this season. Yes. That he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. I just wanted you to know that. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Sister Kill, amen. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Amen. I'm in a season of fall. Amen. There's some things that are falling away. Amen. But the reason why it needs to fall away is so that God can add to me. Amen. And, and I'm grateful for it. Amen. And I'm humble. Amen. Um, I'm, I'm excited about my winter also. Because, you know, in winter, there's particular fruits that grow in the natural. But if you notice, they have a thicker covering. You know, grape, yeah, yeah, yeah. grapes grapes have a, a, a thinner covering, but yes. oranges and tangerines and grapefruit have a thicker covering. Yeah, so I know that I'll be covered yeah. heavily when I get to my winter season. Amen. Yeah. So when I'm when I'm when I'm asking God, Lord, I need I, what is it you want me to do? He's covered me in the process. Yeah. And the covering is so so thick. Amen. Yeah. Can't nothing come in and, and, and tear up my fruit yeah. or, or, or rot my fruit, amen. Yeah. Uh so I just thank God uh, for the seasons because when when, when you don't when, when you don't know your seasons or what season you're in, it will cause you to fall. It'll cause you to go the wrong way. It'll cause you to get connected to what's unfruitful. Amen. Uh, but I encourage you on today to get with someone and get with God first. Amen. So that He can choose that someone. Or that, that spiritual family for you. Amen. So that you can begin to flourish in fruit. That you can begin to flourish in life more abundantly. Amen. Because you are a heir and a co-heir. Amen. So God expects us to live the greatest life. Amen. That's what his desire is for us. Amen. God does not want us to lack. Because we don't have to lack. We choose to lack. Amen. But choose God today. Choose your fruit today. Choose your uh, your season on today. Amen. And you know, one other thing I want to encourage you to do is when whatever season that you're in, don't rush. It's okay to look forward to the next season, but don't try to rush your season. Because God is in control of those seasons anyway. So even when you try to rush it, it's not going to even go forward. Amen. Yeah. So just be patient. Just be humble and wait on God to do a new thing in you. Amen. And it's going to help you teach someone else along the way. Amen. And I just pray, bless God. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. It's important. Amen. As both women of God have said, for you to recognize the season that you're in. Amen. And in order to see that, that's why God said he had given. Amen. Um, the apostles. He have given teachers. He have given to edify. Amen. To begin to work on us. Amen. As a woman of God begin to minister and begin to say that you need a covering. Amen. You can't, the blind leading the blind is not going to be able to go nowhere. And what the enemy does, the enemy put blindness on us. Amen. And it looks like we're producing. It looks like we're in our best life. It looks like because we got a good job, we got family, we got this. But our spirit man, amen. The Lord says, well, only what we do for him is what's going to last. Our labor is what's going to praise and praise and praise us in the gates. So what we do in the kingdom is what counts. Amen. And what we do in the kingdom in return, God blesses us. He said that seek him first and all these things will be added unto us. Amen. Seek him first. Amen. But in order to do that, you need a pastor. You need a, a leader that can see you, that can be able to see for you. Because God has given the vision to the prophet, to the prophetess. Amen. He has given it to them so that we can be able to be at our best. Amen. So that we can produce the fruit, not only for us. Glory to God. So that our seed, so our children, glory to God, can be able to reap in the harvest of what we planted. Amen. As we begin to read the excerpt, it says, and the scripture says in Psalms, it says, for his fruit, mm -hmm. your fruit, yes. your season, yes. and your leaf shall not wither. And anything that you do in God shall prosper. Mm -hmm. But it's what you do. Right. Amen. It's what you make a decision and do all today. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. It's, it's your fruit. Yes. 
that's going to go for it. Amen. That's the only way that you're going to eat is by your fruit, by your labor, by your hands. Amen. What you have put your hands to do in God, my God. Amen. And the beautiful thing about God, amen, he do give a due season. Amen. There's a due season that he do provide. Amen. By grace and mercy. But that's only by grace and mercy. So recognize what season you are to, you are in today. Recognize where you are in your life. Amen. I bless God that you said that you in the pruning season. Amen. I bless God as well that you said that you in the season of fall. Amen. That the Lord is going to take you through. Recognize what season you in. Amen. Because the time has come and the time is now for you to stand forth. This time is now for you to be what God has called you to be. He have come to see. What fruit have you been? Yes. So now it's time for you to check in. Yes. Amen. Yes. Now it's time to see if you're going to get paid for your labor. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. What labor have you put forth? Because what you have put forth, that's what you're going to get paid. Yes. Yes. The scripture says what you sow, yes. you're going to reap. Yes. Amen. So we're going to open it up right now. We're going to open it up for our Facebook viewers to for their comments. And we're going to also open it up for our audience. Amen. For our comments. Amen. We're going to go ahead and go with our Facebook viewers. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. We have Sister Angela. Amen. That said that she's being blessed. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Recognize. Amen. They're working. She's recognizing what season she in. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We bless God on today. The whole purpose. As for us to know yes. that we are the vineyard. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. God said we're the seed bed. Yes. Amen. So we have to bring forth fruit. Yes. Amen. 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 He's the vine. Yes, he is. Thank you, Lord. And we the branch. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 So what fruit are you bringing forth? What what is your life gonna tell about you? Amen. 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 We're gonna open up. Amen. Pastor Cliff. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. 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 I bless the Lord. Amen. Uh, In the natural, we hear a lot about global warming. Uh Come on. Amen. Global warming means that uh, that a layer, amen, of the atmosphere has been removed and we are receiving more sun than ever before. Uh And we see the outcome of it as a shifting in the seasons. On today, amen, you are tired of where you are, amen. I hear you in the spirit, amen, that you are desiring, amen, for God to do a work, amen, for God to do a shifting, but you're going to need more sun. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, you're going to need more word, amen. You're going to need more faith. You're going to need more love, amen. You're going to need more righteousness. Hallelujah. Come on, where the sun is, amen. Jesus said in John, amen, the first chapter in verse 26, where the sun is, amen, so is my servant. You're going to need more pastors. You're going to need more prophets. You're going to need need more evangelists, amen. You're going to need the body of Christ, amen. You can't do it on your own. Come on, come on, hear me in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Find yourself, amen, in the house of God. Amen. It's time out, amen, from separating ourselves from the body of Christ. You are a part of this one body. Amen. We are jointly fitted together. Line up in your place and receive your, amen, more of the Son. Not the S U N, but the S O N. Amen. God bless you. Providence, amen. Glory amen. to God. Amen. amen. We bless the Lord today, amen, and we're so honored to be here to uh, witness these women of God as they share with us the word of God. Yeah. I just rose up to tell you, amen, that seasons in God, you don't just get one opportunity. Wow. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Every amen. year is made up of four Seasons. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So if you missed it last year, uh, you got this year. Yeah. Come Amen. on, come on. You have this year. Thank you, Jesus. But you definitely have to wake up. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Yes, Jesus. We have had the and then hardship of seeing so many loved ones yes. die of COVID. Yes. Mm. Young people, old people, children, 
Amen. When you think of 500,000 people Lord. dying in a modern society. Amen. Yes, Amen. 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 The death angel hmm. came to no one's door Amen. to knock and say, I'm coming to get you tomorrow. Uh, get on. ready. Yes. Nobody had an opportunity. 500,000 just in America. Not a one had a warning. Yes. Not a one was warned to hurry and plant your seed. Mm -hmm. The death angel came and now they're gone. Yeah. And I know if you're like me, many of us are concerned about loved ones who we know did not discern the time. Yeah, Only used every day for what they could get. Every day for food, every day for partying, every day for friends, every day for work, every day for family. Those things are good. They're relevant to life. But the most important thing to do in life is to get ready to go back to life. Amen. Make sure you balance your life. Amen? Amen. amen. And plant something. And the last thing I want to tell you, amen, you got to be careful what you plant. Yes. Amen. 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 We like exotic fruit. Come on, right. <laughs> But <laughs> you better plant something that the Lord ordained. Yeah. Amen. 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 You better make sure that seed you have is viable. Amen. 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 And it can be viable. Amen. You better run it by the fivefold. Yeah, come on. like you. That's a lie from the devil. Yeah. The Lord left these gifts for the perfecting of the saints. Yeah. Amen. And you will not be perfect on your own. Yeah. You will not be made mature on your own. Yeah. So I'm inviting you today to hear the women of God as they bring to you amen the way. Yes. Amen. Yes, so you won't be cut down. Ah. Nobody can imagine that God will cut anybody down. Oh God, come on, come on. Amen. Yeah. But I want to tell you, just like he's a raising up God, yeah. he's a cutting down God. Yeah. Yeah, Paul said, I must keep myself in subjection lest I too yeah. might be a castaway. Yeah. Don't cast yourself away. Yeah. Plant something good. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Glory to God. Amen. It's going to bring us into our final comments from our panelists. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. To be a conscientious planter. As Prophet Zip uh, stated, amen. Being a conscientious sower. Amen. 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 Professor Thomas. Amen. amen. God bless you and thank you for lending us your ears and your time today. Yes. Yes. We're so grateful for you being with us yes. today. Thank you. And I just want to tell you that most of all, Jesus loved you. Yes. I love you. We love you. Thank you. And it's time for us to know the season that we're in. And we're in a season where if we call upon him, he will answer. Yes. If we knock, he'll open the door. Yes. Seek him while he may be found. Call upon him while he may answer you. Yes. So that you can bring forth the fruit that he have on the inside of you. God has placed fruit, yes. glory. Jesus. You need to get in the right ministry. Yes. And this is a healthy house. Yes. This is a healthy home. Yes. It needs your presence. Yes. So that you can fulfill yes. the works that God has for you to do in this land. Yes. None of us know when it's going to be over. Yeah. They can predict that he's coming back here, he's coming back there, yeah. but don't pay attention to any of that because no man knows the day, nor the hour when the Son of Man shall return. And since we don't know, come in close, I want you to come in close and hear this. Since we don't know, we can't afford another second away from God, our vine dresser. Come on, come on. The one that is being patient with you right now. Yes. Because you should have long been bearing fruit. Yes. Yes. But he's saying, no, no, no. The vine dresser said, Father, no, 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 not yes. now. Give me one more chance. I'm using these women to talk to him today. I mean, I'm saying the apostle is here today. Thank you, Jesus. 
They give them one more chance yes, Thank you, Jesus. to make up their mind yeah. to walk into their season. Uh -huh. Come on, yes. Because it's time. Yes, yes. It's time. Yes. Coronavirus may wake you up, but it's prayer that gets you going and keep yeah. you going. Yeah. 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 Amen? Yeah. So it's time yeah. to surrender. It's your time. It's your yeah. season. Yeah. To lift those hands now yeah. and say, Father, I surrender all yeah. to you. Use me for your glory, God. Yes. Yes. Planting me the seeds that you want to be planted in this. Yes. And then nurture me. Yes. And empower me to go forth in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Amen, Sister Kim. Yes, Amen. Lord. Thank you, God. Whatever you may be going through right now, Jesus. God says this too shall pass. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever you're going through right now, you cannot handle it on your own because you're not shooting in that area. Right. Amen. That's why it's so important to get yourself connected to God. Get connected with God's people. Amen. That way, wherever you're weak at, they are strong and they can help hold you up. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. I just thank God that God has given you more time. To get in order, amen. Get connected to the source, get connected to the true vine, amen. Get connected to the living water, hallelujah. To get connected to the bridge over troubled water, amen. Hallelujah. God has something for you, but you have to want it for yourself, amen. We can want it for you, but you have to want it for yourself, amen. There are some things on the inside of you that God is trying to bring forth. Yes. And all you have to do is surrender yes. and give, give your all to God. Yes. Your everything, your very life. Your life doesn't belong yes. to you. It belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So you have to give everything that, 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 that God has given you. Because everything you have, yes. the good, the bad, and the ugly, God can allow it some, in some form. Amen. Yeah, come on. Hallelujah. You, but God will do a new work in you if that's what you desire. Let your desires change. Begin to learn what your seasons are. Amen. So that you too can bear the fruit that you need. Amen. Amen. The fruit that somebody else needs. Hallelujah. Yes, I thank I thank I thank God that that I've learned to recognize my season. Amen. Right. Because I know that my fruit is gonna help save somebody else. Yes. I'm not Jesus. I ain't trying to be Jesus. Hallelujah. But the Jesus in me is going to pull that person out of that deep, amen. He's going to pull that person out of that ditch, amen. Those ditches that those people you think that are your friends, those that, that you're trying to hold on to, maybe maybe God is already doing a work in you, amen. But you have those that are speaking against the Christ in you, speaking against the work that God has put on the inside of you, amen. You need to disconnect from those people and connect with the source so you can come to your full Fruitful maturity in Jesus name Amen Jesus. Hallelujah I love you God bless you And we just gonna uh, intercede on your behalf Whether we know you or don't know you Whether we see you or don't see you Amen We just bless and thank the Lord for you Hallelujah Jesus Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Come on and put your hands together Hallelujah Glory to God We bless God for Sister Geneva Kelly Amen. As you take a seat, amen. God, put your hands together. We bless God for the woman of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We also thank God for Co-Pastor Tomlinson. Amen. Come on and put your hands together. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We bless God for you. Allow God to use, to use you all to reveal God's word. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We're talking about your life on today. Amen. As everyone has said on today, amen. Glory to God. That this is your life. This is your moment. Glory to God. This is your season. This is your time. Hallelujah. This is the time that God has set forth before your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Heart not your heart to the word that God has given on today. Amen. Recognize what season you are in on today. Recognize, just wake up. Open up your eyes. Amen. Wake up and put on your strength. Wake up on today. Wake up in the name of Jesus. Wake up in your slumber. Just wake up right now. Wake up and out of sin. Wake up. Amen. Because if you don't wake up, if 
if you don't recognize what season and what time it is. Amen. The enemy will deceive you to believe that you have more time. The enemy will deceive to believe, oh, I can do that tomorrow. Oh, I can put it off. I can, I can do it next week. I'm going to go to church next week. I'm going to go and I'm going to do this next time. Well, what happens when next time don't come? What happens when tomorrow don't come? What happens when, when today is all you have? Amen. Glory to God. We charge you on today. We urge you on today. Amen. To receive the grace and the mercy that God has for you. Amen. Right now in your moment, in your living room, wherever you are. Glory to God. You can make a decision in your heart to change. Amen. You can make a decision in your heart. Amen. What you're not going to do. Listen. God said that he'll come. Amen. To deliver. He'll come to set us free. He'll come. Amen. So that we can receive his perfect strength. Amen. But you have to choose it. You have to embrace it. Amen. Because if you continue to go on with life. Amen. As is. Not being a conscious sower. Because our life still sold. You still sow, no matter what it is. Good or bad, you're still sowing. And it's going to come a time when it's going to have to come up for a harvest. And when the harvest comes, what you sow, you're reaping. And then you have to look back and say, why did this happen? Why did this happen? Why are my children doing this? Why are they crazy? Why is this? All of this, all the whys. Amen. But it comes from what was sowed. But God has given an opportunity to dig it up, to cut it off. Amen. Amen. And get replaced. Glory to God. This is a new season that God has called. Amen. The season in your life that you should have been bearing fruit and that you had not bared any fruit. Now is the time to bear fruit. Amen. Right now, this is the new season. This is the season that no one had control over. This is the season that the Lord has given. This is the season, amen, from grace and mercy, amen, yes, that right now, yes. you can change. Yes, you can. Right now, you can begin to work, and you'll get the same pay as the one that's been in the Lord for 30 years. Yes. Glory to God, hallelujah. You'll get the same reward as the one that's been in the Lord for 40 years. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. That's in the due season. Glory to God, amen. One day with the Lord is as a thousand. Hey, glory to God. Nobody can touch that. Amen. No man can touch. Amen. The days with the Lord. So if you start today, you already got a thousand. You already got a thousand with the Lord. Glory to God. But we are urging on you. We are urging for you to take control of your life. Amen. The enemy, amen, have already said in the scripture that he come to wear us out. Amen. He comes to overwhelm us. He comes to overtake us. He comes to divide the spoil. And how can he overtake us? And how can he overwhelm us? Uh -huh. Amen. If your eyes are not open and if you don't recognize what season you're in, amen, you begin to take hits that you shouldn't take. Amen. Amen. You begin to take blows that you shouldn't have taken. Uh -huh. You begin to be in places that you shouldn't have been. Yeah. You begin to be in places, amen, that you can't get out of. Yes, My God. I remember saying to myself, how did I get here? How did I get this far from God? How did I end up in this place? How am I in this place where I can't even, I don't have no control. When I want to do good, evil is present. When I want the thing that I do that I don't want to do, I end up doing it. How did I become in this, in this war? How did this happen? Because of the seeds that were sown. And I wasn't, my eyes wasn't open to see that it was going to come up. Amen. This is your time right now. Amen. The Grand Canyon, I just want you to understand the depth and the deepness of it. When you think about the Grand Canyon, amen, it wasn't something that happened overnight. It was a constant friction, a constant hit over years and years and years and years and years. The next thing you know, it was a grand. A grand, it was it's so deep that no one can actually go all the way down to the bottom. It's so deep. But this happened from a constant friction, a constant 
my God. But if you're not awake, you won't recognize the hits Amen. that the enemy are hitting you with. You're thinking that you got hit, oh, I can keep going. It just hurt me just a little bit. I can shake that off. But eventually, it'll show up. And then you'll have an addiction that you didn't plan on having. You'll be in someone's bed that you didn't plan on being there. You'll be in a place that you never intended to be there. It was just, I was just having fun. I was just trying to find myself. I was just, I was just. But the enemy is cunning. The enemy have come to try to destroy us, to devour us. As he said, he's seeking to and fro to see who we can devour. Amen. 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 So we're urging you today to recognize that your life in God, Amen, has already been predestined, has already been preordained. Yes. But if you don't wake up, you will miss. You will miss the season. You will miss the time that God has for you to work. Yes, Amen. Amen. But right now, we're saying that He has grace. And he have mercy. Don't be cut off. Yes. Oh my God. Because even the Lord said that he won't strive with us always. I've given you time. As, they, as the women of God have said before, that the seasons have changed. And every year there's another season. Every year there's another opportunity. Every, every day. But sooner or later there's going to come a time. Amen. Where we'll be cut off. You'll be cut off. You'll be cut off from the resources. You'll be cut off. Amen. As the children of Israel, mm -hmm. when God did not even speak to them, mm -hmm. my God, could you imagine God not hearing us? Jesus. Could you imagine God not coming through? Could you imagine? My God, could you imagine being a castaway while you yet live? You're still living. But no connection to God. No benefits, no life. On today, we urge you to choose life. So you and your child can live. So you and your child and their children can live. Amen. Choose to live on today. To bring forth fruit. Amen. Because the scripture says, as your strength, so is your days. So it's going to come a time when your strength is going to start to win. Come on now. It's going to come a time where you thought that you was young, you could do everything that you want to do, and then now the time has come where I, I even me, I, I look at now, I'm going to bed at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and I used to can stay up to 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock. But the time has changed. The season has changed. Amen. Glory to God. And Daniel 2. The Lord says that he can change the season. Amen. amen. That he can provide. Amen. That he provide the deep, the secret things in, 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 in the deepness. Yes, Lord. Amen. But that's only with a connection. That's only with grace. Right. Glory to God. Amen. Check your fruit. Check your labor. Hallelujah. If your life is full of hell, you got to check to see what you sow. Yeah. If you sow hell, you won't have hell. Amen. Amen. But God has given an opportunity, amen, to change that. Yes. He said he can change the season. Yes. Amen. amen. He controls the time. Yes. But he said he will change the season. Yes. Amen. So you have an opportunity, the due season, to plant. Yes. To be conscious of what you're sowing. Be conscious of what you're sowing into your children. Because they don't sprout up just like any other plant that's planted. What you sow, if we sow watermelon, what are we going to get? Watermelon. Amen. Amen. So if you sow discord in your children's life, they're going to grow up and it's going to be chaos. Amen. Amen. Take control of your life. Yes, Take control right now in this moment. You need to be in a church home. Amen. Yes, you need leaders that's going to guide you. Amen. That's going to take those blinders off. Yes, Amen. See, the enemy don't want us to hear this. The enemy wants you to stay blind. Because as long as you're blind, you feel as though you don't have no responsibility, no accountability. But we all one day is going to have to go before the Lord. 
And we all want it the same. What we did, what, what was given to us. The Lord said he had given us life. Amen. And he promised us abundant life. So what do we do with the life that he gave us? The life that he died and gave us. So we can live. He died so we can live. So what are you doing with the life that he's given? As the seasons pass. As time go on. What are you going to do? Are you going to take the change? Are you going to take the grace? Because it's not going to always be there. He said he gives to whoever he please. Amen. Amen. He loves us enough to give us time. Oh. He loves us enough to give us a little bit more grace. A little bit more mercy. And we're pleading that you get it right. We like, we the wine dresser. Interceding on your behalf. That you will get it right. That you will come in these doors. That you will make a change in your life. Because we know there's going to be a time that you're going to be cut off. Don't die before your time. Don't die before you have labor in the Lord. Don't give the enemy your entire life. The Lord said right now as you heard the word go forth. He said, I'm speaking to you on today. What can you bring? What labor can you do? Only what you do for Christ is going to land. Everything else is going to roll up like a straw. My God. My God. So today, right now in this moment, make a decision in your heart. All you got to do is accept him once again. Amen. He said we are adopted in him. Glory to God. Amen. He said I'll change your thoughts. Amen. If you give me your work, I establish your thoughts. I'll give you a clean heart. Why plant? 
and get cut down. Why live this life? Why be given this life to only be cut down? Amen. I told the Lord, I thank the Lord for everything that he brought me through. Amen. Glory to God. Because it was good that I was afflicted. It was good that I went through what I went through. It began to prone me. It began to, amen, the woman of God said. It began to shake me. It began to mold me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. But it wasn't until the Lord had to open up my eyes. It wasn't until I had to wake up. And get out of the mess that I was in. Amen. Use the dirt to plant. Amen. Don't dwell in the dirt. Use it to plant. Hallelujah. Purchase for your soul. Glory to God for your life. Use the dirt to plant. Amen. In the name of Jesus. We've all been, we've all been dirty. Come on now. But the Lord said you have come to wash us. The word washes us. Stop being a party mama and a sugar daddy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
start hurting with me. The world is enmity to God. James 4 and 4 say, He that is a friend of the world is an enemy of God. But we placate and we call on Jesus in the time of trouble. And when the trouble dissipates, when the trouble is gone, amen, we go back to the point. We pull up the dresses. Come on. And brothers, you need to raise those pants up. Hallelujah. Amen. You need to start giving the glory that God has called you. Amen. You need to stop letting the world dictate to you how you want to walk and how you want to come. All pathogens. Amen. Even in the natural pathogens, amen, will take a good seed and destroy. Environment will cause a good seed not to bring up, hallelujah, fruit in the name of Jesus. Amen. And not only that, predators. Predators will come, a dog will come and scratch a, a, a ground. Right, come huh? on. Yes. Dig up a ground and put a bone in it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You cannot plant anywhere. Yeah, come on. You cannot say you're going to stay in the physical state that you're in and plant something good. Yeah. What you have might be good, yeah. but what you're around won't have it. Come on. Amen? Yeah. We want you today to consider your emotional ties. Yes. Yeah. Consider That's the people good. you're in relationship with. Yes. Consider all of these things, amen. And when you get a chance, read Isaiah 5. God said he planted a vineyard for his well-beloved. Yes. He went and he cleaned it out first. Yes. Hallelujah. He cleaned it out, amen, and then he fenced it in. Yes. Okay. Well, men and women of God, if your life is not fenced in, you know it's not fenced in when you're not obedient. Yes. When the only thing you can do is what you want to do. You see, serving God, amen, is the process of a transformation. Yes. Hallelujah. The only way God is going to transform us, amen, is if we go against our will. Come on. You got to go against your will because your will is Adam's will, baby. Yes. Yes. You got to go against Adam. Come on. Yes. Go against Adam. Adam is in you. Yes. Go against Adam, amen, and the Lord understands the to write it. He didn't leave us, amen, to wonder what we should do. Right. It is written. Yes. Man shall not live by what? Bread, Bread alone. Come on. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Yes. But you can have seed. Yes. Hallelujah. Luke 8 and 11 say that the word of God is seed. Yes. You can have seed, amen, but you don't bring forth fruit. Yes. He explained it to us because you're trying to plant on the wrong ground. Come on. It's nothing wrong with the seed. It's nothing wrong with your faith. It's nothing wrong with your love. But you're too afraid to cut off the contaminants. My God. You think that God will leave you alone. You won't have anybody you can depend on. Yes. You won't have anybody who loves you. Amen? Amen? You have a family yes. in God. Hallelujah. 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 I want to tell you this morning in Jesus' name. Pull yourself back from the world. Yes. Just pull, just today. Yes. Just today. Spend a little time asking yourself, if I die today, ah. what works will go before me? My oh. God. Oh my God. And don't tell me old people die. Hmm. Oh my God, we've seen so many young people yes. die. Yes. Within the last year, it's heartbreaking. So it doesn't matter your age. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You cannot smoke dope. Yeah. Get high yeah. on a demon. Yeah, come on. And then come glorify God. Right, come on, come on. Yes. You cannot sleep with another woman's husband. Yes, come on. Get up and come and glorify God. Right. Come on. You cannot engage in promiscuous living yes. and doing what you want to do because everybody around you does it. Amen. Pull the pieces back together. Bring your fragmented life and bring all the pieces back to the altar. Bring the broken pieces. Hallelujah. Amen. The beautiful thing about it, the Lord said in Romans 12 and 3, he's given every man a measure of faith. He didn't say he just gave the same man. He said he gave every man a measure of faith. 
So it doesn't matter where you are in scripture, you have enough faith to understand what I'm saying. Amen. You are outside of the gate Amen. when you walk as the world. Yes. There will be no excuses. Yes. You know, as long as no one is making us pay for what we do, we continue doing it. That's true. But the day of reconciliation is going to come. Yeah. The day, amen, you're going to have to give an answer yes. for how you gave this beautiful life that God has given you to the world. Yeah. You're going to have to answer for that. You're going to have to answer, amen, for not growing in grace. Right. Amen? Yeah. Young folk want to be old and old folks want to be young. You ought to see something. Oh, you ought to see something. Yeah. Huh? Amen. You think you're good looking and every woman wants you. Baby, you ought to see Yes, yes. Your life, amen, your body is the tabernacle of God. Yeah, come on. You don't even know how it feels, how it feels. To have him in you. Mm. You know how to go to church, mm. but you don't know what it is to have him inside. Come on. Amen. Come on. You got to let him in. He's not going to force his way in. Amen. And you cannot go on a job and not do the work huh. and get paid. Come on. Amen. Yeah, come on. That's some foolishness. Yes. Yes. You cannot go to church, sit down, hear the word, walk out. And have no works. Right, come on. You gotta get paid for works. Yes. And let me tell you this. Amen. You hear some folks say that I'm working in my family. Maybe that's not your job. Right, come on. That's not that's your job. Way. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yeah. Clean up your life. Yes. So you can hear your job. Yes. Amen. Yes. For God say whom he preordained, yes. he called. Whom he called, he justified. Yes. Whom he justified, he glorified. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 30, 31, he said, if he be for you, he's more than the world against you. We have evidence today that living for God is a beautiful life. Amen. 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 Living for God makes you wake up without guilt yes. Yes. and without shame. Yes. I'm heartbroken as to how many parents are ruining their children, raising them up in the world as the world. That's foolish, and God's going to get you for that. I want to say this, and I say this on my own accord. Amen. And I pray that you're listening. If you have a child at home, don't lose that child. With the world wide web. Yes. Come on. Amen. Don't allow your child to go in another room with a computer. Amen. Every devil is on Google. Yes, it is. Every devil. Every devil. Mm -hmm. Every demon is ministering to your children, mm -hmm. drawing them away from Christ. Okay. If you know that you call on Christ in trouble, Amen. How do you feel? He, how do you think he feels when you don't have trouble? You separate from him. We just invite you today to get some strength in your life. Yes. Get some strength in your life. Yes. Acknowledge it. It's not your will that must be done, and God bless your will. Yes. It's his will that must be done. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And his will is that you seek ye first the kingdom of God. And all of his righteousness. Amen. Then he's going to add everything to you. Yes. We say in closing today. You, no matter what relationships we're in. Be it husband, wife, children, parent. It doesn't matter. When, you're, when, when you pass and you go through life's transition. You're not going to be able to call your spouse up. To give an account yes. for your disobedience. Amen. Yeah. You're not going to have to say like Anna and Sophia. Right. I did it because my husband told me to do it. Lord, Lord. The scriptures say, yeah, you obeyed your husband. Mm. Now you're both dead. Mm. Because we are held accountable yes. individually yes. in the spirit. Yes. Don't mix the two. Yeah, come on. Your fleshly ties are not spiritual ties. Come on. 
y'all mix the two. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Put a fence around your life. Yes. Put a fence around your life. Yes. Certain things you let nobody trespass against. Mm. When it comes to you and the Lord, the scriptures say in Romans 14 and 22, have thy faith, yes. have it unto God alone. Yes, God. Your faith is between you and God alone. You better stop waiting for somebody's consent. Thank you better stop waiting until somebody agree with you or until yes. somebody support you. Yes. Amen. God has called you alone. Yes, come on. And everything that is coming in your life that seems to be a, a warfare, mm -hmm. amen, it has been prescribed to you to prove your faith. Yes, go ahead. Thank you. At the end of the day, ask yourself, what are my fruits? Uh -huh. What fruit do I have in the Lord? Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Going to church is not a fruit. Amen. Uh, come on, come on. Going to church Make is not plain. a fruit. Yeah. Amen? Where have you inconvenienced yourself to bless the kingdom of God? Yes. I hear the Holy Spirit say it again. Start in the natural. Yeah. Wean yourself from ungodliness. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Wean yourself. Yes. You don't have to go, amen, and, and engage in battles and conflicts that God didn't give you. Yes. You don't have to go tell anybody, well, I got to separate you because I'm trying to live holy. Right. Come uh, on. Are you crazy? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Ask the Lord to set a watch over your mouth and keep it close to the lips. Yes. Amen. Don't make any announcements. Right. Come on. Just solidly yes. put yourself back together. Amen. Come away from the unclean thing. Be holy, said the Lord. Amen. Amen. When people look at you, Amen. you may say, well, it doesn't matter. God judges the heart. Amen. No, God judged the flesh and the heart. Amen. Huh? Amen. He said, present. Your body yes. as a living sacrifice. Uh -huh. Not just your spirit. You cannot present your spirit. He has to present yes. your spirit. Yes. You present your body. Yes. Clean up your body. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen? When someone look at you, let them see a tabernacle. Yes. Untimely. Yes. 
Hallelujah. God forbid. Yes, but if it did, yes, then you would be ready. Yeah, glory. God, come on. Yes, Lord. You don't say, well, maybe if God give me a chance. Come on, come no, baby. Faith is about taking the chance. Yes. Faith is about making a declaration Thank what you, you're going to do with the rest of your life. Yeah. Now I ask you today, in the name of Jesus, give me some thought. And while you're giving some yeah. thought to it, amen, make a covenant yeah. with your eyes not to look at what's ungodly. Hallelujah. Make a covenant with your ears not to hear what's ungodly. Yeah. Make a covenant with your mouth, amen. You cuss us. Lose that tongue. Yes. You have to make that covenant. Yes. And ask the Lord to make your life worthy yes. of Him. Yes. Thank you. I want to be worthy of Him. Yes. 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 He has done so much for me. Yes. He has blessed me so much. Yes. And let me tell you, all my blessings have not been in my agreement. Yes. Some of the blessings have been with it. Yes. Come on. Yes. Some of the blessings here have taken things from me. Yeah, at the time, I couldn't understand. Yes. Yes. But I stayed in. I held on to grace. Yes. And that which I thought was against me ended up being my greatest blessing. Amen. So we ask you today to stand in the still. Yes. Do something wonderful for God yes. with your beautiful life. You may present your life to the world. You want to be something of the world. That's okay. The Lord said, I give you all things that pertain to life and godliness. He said, I'll give you exceeding precious promises for your life and for godliness. That you may take part in my divine nature. In other words, as you grow in life and in godliness, you need to be looking more like him. Yes. Yes. Your old nature is corrupt. Yes. You shouldn't have the same nature you had in the world. Yes. yes. Name in the name of God. Yeah. Now, while you're not judged, yeah. while you're not condemned, yeah. it seems unimportant. Mm. You seem to think you have time. Mm. But time belongs to God. Come on. Yes. Today. Yes. Heart not your heart. Thank you, Let's do something wonderful. Hallelujah. Let's receive the strength of the Lord today. Yes. Amen. Yes. Say it with me. I shall not die. I shall not die. But live. But live. To, declare to declare the works of the Lord. The works of the Lord. In Jesus' name. We bring you strength. What we bring? Strength. Hallelujah. From the Christ Temple New Life Ministry, it's one thousand more words for the Lord. Apostle Walter Washington, I have a talk with Jimmy Washington. We bring you strength. Yeah.